Welcome, everybody. I hope your mental and physical health are well and your karma is as clean as it can possibly be. This video is called Creating a Shapefile in QGIS. I'm going to show you how to create the shapefile, add fields to an attribute table, set up a coordinate system, and then open the attribute table. It should be a quick ride. So I've got QGIS open already, and my project just has a few things. It has a Google Satellite base map, it has a clipped Landsat image, and it has a shapefile, a point shapefile called Vermont Cities. So what I want to do is uh, create a new shapefile that's going to be a polygon layer that we're going to use to trace out lakes. So we could create like a vector polygon file showing where all the lakes and ponds are. So to create that shapefile, the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to this icon, New Shapefile Layer. I'll give it a file name. I'm going to call it Lakes. Maybe I'll call it Lakes and Ponds. File encoding I'll leave at the default. Geometry I'm going to change to Polygon. This is really important. If you were, you could also choose points or lines depending on your needs. Uh, for coordinate system, I'm going to leave it at WGS84. And we'll talk more about coordinate systems at some point, but there's a whole world that you can choose from. Uh, but we're going to try to use WGS84 as much as possible. This lower section lets us choose which fields we want to be in the attribute table. Remember, those are going to be the columns within the attribute table. And it lets us decide if those fields should be text, whether they should be whole number integers or decimals or dates. So why don't we add one field that's text? Maybe we'll call it lake name. The names are going to be short, so I only need a length of, let's say, 40 characters, maybe even less. And then I'm going to add that to the fields list. Great. And then why not, we'll throw in a number field. How about we'll just put homes, the number of homes that are along the shore of the lake or pond. It's going to be a whole number. It can be up to 10 digits. All right, we'll add that. So now we've got the ID, the name, and the homes. Um, keep in mind, if you set up a string or a text field, you can only enter text into that, right? If you set up an integer field, you can only enter whole number integers. That's the whole point. OK, we'll hit OK. Here's our shape file. Uh, it was added automatically. And the final thing I want to show you is just how to look inside the attribute table. So. With any of these things over in our layers list, we can just right click, open the attribute table if it has one, and here it is. Because we haven't edited it yet, there's no features in it, but we'll see those in the next video. Thanks for watching.